Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, is it too much about Corel Draw? Even though you're going to need Corel Draw later to make your, if you're going to do this wireframe for a light stand, you know, it's got a hairline already drawn around it. Really, the the video is going to be about a software called Luban that I just got last night. Started playing around with it this morning. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it does not draw in 3D, but it'll take 3D STL files. And inside his website, he has some samples of STL file. And I just picked this duck because that was actually the one he kind of sent me a little tutor on. Uh, seemed like a really nice young man. So we open up the software and I'm going to go to open. And I'm going to go to my pictures and I'm going to type in duck where I saved that STL file. And I'm going to open it up. And that's what comes up. And then you're going to go to Mesh and Luban. I'm going to convert it to inches. And then it automatically did it. And you can play around with it. You can have less vertical layers, less horizontal layers, and change the rotation of it. Um, and then you hit Imprint. And the imprint saves it to a, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it back like it was. I think it looked pretty cool. And then that imprint, you press imprint and you put it in a folder and we're going to put it in pictures and all this stuff. And then you save it as a DXF file. Well, you don't actually save it. You export it to a DXF file. And then I went into Corel Draw, and I just imported it, and I actually put that on a thumb drive, and I called it DXF. It's asking me for inches, and voila. And what I think is cool about it, it's already got a hairline around it. So if you were going to make a light stand out of this, it's got a red hairline. So just select it all and whoop. Yep, this one's been broken apart. So let's just get rid of the new one we did. Let's zoom in here. All you're going to do is select it, go up to arrange, ungroup it, and then you could grab that hairline and play with that hairline. Put it back. You know, draw you a vertical box for your um, your light stand. And what I would actually do in this case, I'd set my nudge factor on something pretty big. I would nudge that out of the way. Let's get rid of that logo. I would grab the other. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Try to get just that hairline. Nudge it out of the way. And this is the part about Corel Draw. Then you would weld that together and nudge that back. And there you have a wireframe. And that's pretty cool. Pretty fast. Um, I've still got to figure out some things. Um, but I'm going to, hopefully this will be one of many videos on this product. And it's worth taking a look at if you want to do this type of stuff. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.